happy Pisces season from your favorite Pisces. Um, it's February 18th and I am in Utah. So escapist season starts. Uh, if you're experiencing that you are looking to get away, to relax, to take a break, if you're taking trips, that explains a lot of the energy. Um, people love to do that during Pisces season. Uh, it could just be you escaping in your head or escaping at home um, into movies, into novels, into um, things that make you feel good. That's very Pisces. Um, being a Pisces, I can tell you that throughout most of my life, I have run away from things. And this is sort of what I want this message to be about um, for the Pisces new moon that's coming up on Sunday, February 19th. Um, so I feel like the end of Aquarius season, there was some intense energies that brought up a lot of um, maybe feelings or um, situations uh, that you engaged in with other people that are a really big deal. Um, like they could be people at work, people in your family, people um, just in the community that uh, you've had unresolved things with. And I say unresolved in which um, I mean that perhaps you have people at work that you like, you just don't really get along with, or perhaps you have um, people in the community that um, you've had things happen in the past and like some of that is being dredged up again um, or you know with your family members like same old cycles like are being amplified right now for you to learn a lesson here at the Pisces new moon the interesting thing about Pisces is that we uh, me having so much Pisces my birthday's on Wednesday, by the way. Um, happy birthday to me. Um, Pisces is about the release. It's about grief. And it's about um, moving on in the way. So, like, you release something to bring in the new. And Aries is the new. And so, uh, while this is a Pisces new moon, I feel like it has a lot of energies of release has a lot of energies of like release in more of a compassionate way and more of a like um I know in in a kind soft like I know this is what's best for me to like release this um in a way that serves it's more of like a spiritual type of like understanding in this release instead of just a like a quick leaving or a it's like a lot of processing and, and reflecting on what you're no longer um, working with in your life. And so uh, I've seen people have a lot of loss lately with grief related to uh, family members that have passed on and also people that are leaving jobs. Um, so whatever that you're experiencing this energy of um, moving on. Uh, this doesn't have to be an external event, it could be an internal event. Um, for me, it is an internal event. Uh, I am experiencing the closing out of a karmic cycle. Uh, and that has been, I just wanna say, if you're a Pisces right now, um, this could be super amplified for you and very confusing. Uh, there might be a lot of illusion there. And for everyone else as well, there could be a lot of illusion involved in this of um, what you're looking to move on from. Because I feel like it's easy for us to get lost in the energy of what happens. Um, <clears throat> but generally for Pisces, uh, I think it's gonna be maybe more of an, an intense release, um, just uh, based on how many planets you have in Pisces. And because it's at the first degree point, um, which is like, yeah, just really amplifying that Pisces energy. 
so that's what i wanted to say about the pisces new moon i hope that supports um i'm not gonna go on and explain other transits this week just because i feel like that was like the main message i wanted to get through today and so i hope that over the next few days you feel supported in um releasing something that no longer serves in a way that is um compassionate to yourself and compassionate to others and uh that really makes you feel like you're on the right path and aligned with your soul growth so thanks for listening and i'll talk to you next week